in Troyton may promise many a phenomenal interaction with nature. Today, a rainbow arching near Brighton Island catches my attention. With that, I decide to head to Brighton, seeking a new adventure, wondering what I may find. I had heard lately of the presence of eagles near the Brighton Causeway. I was not surprised to see two immature bald eagles feeding near the ice. Meantime, the more mature bald eagles were flying about in what seemed to be a courtship ritual. The young eagle will leave the nest at about 12 weeks old. Their head and tail feathers will not turn completely white until they are about 4 years old. If they make it that long, their survival rate is only at about 50% in the first year of life. These young fellows may be about 3 years old. By this time they are quite the experts at fishing for their food. Using their talons or feet, they will dive close to the water surface and catch a fish. For today, codfish is on the menu. Their diet is preferably fish, but if not available, the eagle will not suffer. He will eat small mammals, such as squirrels and rabbits and other birds, and at times, even larger animals, such as small deer. They have no problem scavenging on a seal or moose carcass either. Whatever is available, they will eat. By now his dinner is pretty much petrified, but he does not seem to mind picking away at this frozen delight. An eagle will eat anywhere from one half pound to about one and a half pounds of food each day, hence the average size of a fish it may obtain. Notwithstanding its appetite, it will certainly try to land a larger fish if he is able to carry it. You may have noticed the presence of crows in the immediate area of the young eagles. They are always standing by to see what they can scavenge from the eagle's meal. Taking possession of the cod, he seems to be making clear that he is not yet finished with his food and that the blackbirds had better back off. Of course, the most fearless crow will take advantage of any opportunity while the young eagle leaves his bounty exposed. Trouncing back to what is rightfully his, the crow departs the scene. That bird is still around. I wonder, should I take my meal and go? The fish should not be too heavy. After all, he carried it there. He also has to factor in the added weight of ice in the now frozen codfish. Not to be too concerned about this fish, for an eagle will usually carry up to as much as three to four pounds. If he has the desire and the appetite, an eagle may engage a fish equally to his own weight. It has been noted that some eagles have actually drowned trying to retrieve a fish too large to carry. In this state it will take a while to consume his dinner. Meanwhile the crows will settle for crumbs. Bird beaks are actually bony like compositions coated in keratin, a protein matter like human fingernails. Keratin layers make the beaks strong. As it is, they have to keep their beaks clean and sharp. In doing so, they will scrape the beak side to side against a rock to sharpen and nuzzle the tree branch to keep it clean. The talons and feet are set up on powerful leg muscles and like the beak are very sharp. Keeping them manicured is achieved with normal use as they spend much of their time using them to catch their prey and while landing and taking off, they also keep them trimmed. 
Becoming concerned while noticing a more mature eagle in the area, the young one seems a little restless. Walking to and fro, he will have to decide whether to stay or abandon his meal for now. Bald eagles are not actually bald. The term bald is derived from the word piebald, depicting something that is spotty and patchy. Adult eagles have dark brown and white feathers all over their heads and tails. They have yellow beaks that are hooked in their parents. They have large talons and oversized feet as mentioned before. The eagle's vision is far superior to humans as they can see as much as seven times the distance as we do. Our young friend now taking to a tree for a rest and a lookout ponders maybe what to do next. All the while the crow still makes his presence known to him. Our courteous little friend politely obliges his tormentor with a response. I have often noticed that crows like to taunt the eagle, especially while in flight. I have witnessed as many as five crows trying to chase a young eagle down in an attempt to knock him out of the sky. But I would say that the crow is no match for the agility and quick movement of the eagle. The bald eagle has more than 6,000 feathers to provide protection against the cold and heat and keep them dry from water and rain. This abundance of feather and down protection enables them to survive in cold winter temperatures as this. Feathers are of course needed for flying and for gliding and soaring. This is easily achieved as they are hollow and light, but they are structurally very strong. The eagle's wingspan in a mature male adult, whom is slightly smaller than the female, stretches from 72 to 85 inches, or 183 to 216 centimeters, while a female's wingspan ranges from 79 to 90 inches, or 201 to 229 centimeters. It has been said that should a bald eagle lose a feather on one wing, it will shed another on the other in order to maintain peak balance. Newfoundland maintains one of the highest populations of bald eagles in the northeastern North American area. The population of pairs of eagles is in the range of 300 to 600 in the province. They can be in rural communities such as Brighton and Triton on a daily basis, sometimes spotted in your own backyard. This youngster will complete the transformation from immature to adult over the next couple of years. By then his full white cap will be apparent. His eyes will become yellow and his beak will be of a bright amber as well. Why an adult's eyes are yellow is not known. Speculation is that the look will give a more fearful appearance. Our friend has decided to enjoy the sun and the view while perched in a tree. Perhaps he's looking for his sibling and keeping watch of the pesky crows. Observing that the food has been left unattended at this time, the eagle will have to decide as to whether he is hungry enough to take possession of it or leave it for the gulls and crows. It seems he has chosen to reclaim his food, not yet satisfying his hunger for today. It is quite usual for the bald eagle to make their homes in tree-lined areas near the ocean and large lakes. Of course the location will depend on the availability of fish and other sources of food. Also the many high cliff shorelines of Newfoundland make for ideal nesting places that are high and isolated enough to be largely inaccessible by humans, although some nests are located near communities.
A bald eagle can live for longer than 30 years, but on average only survive from 15 to 20 years. You would think upon observation that the eagle is experiencing cold feet, but in reality their feet are made mostly of tendons and are quite resistant to the cold. Perhaps his talons need some care, maybe a little manicure. In any case, for now I think our little friend has to make a decision as to whether he wishes to remain on this cold ice or seek the warm comfort of a tree. I would have so loved to have gotten more film of the mature eagles, but they were less tolerant of my presence. My buddy has informed me of a nesting site and perhaps in the spring I will make a visit there in hopes of collecting more film of this elegant creature. For now, I will bid you goodbye and allow you to enjoy these last few moments with the young bald eagle. Please share this video. Thank you. As you are aware, trout breeds with their gills. The gills also filter out carbon dioxide into the water, much as the same as we do while we breathe. The gills are positioned along the throat, covered by a flap of bony tissue, known as the operculum.